We're going to stop this car here for failing to stop at the stop sign back there. You got your license registration and insurance on you? Yeah. How you doing? OK. Got ID on you? No. No? No, sir. You're driving in a vehicle without a seatbelt on in the front seat. That's against the state statute. I wasn't aware. You weren't aware? I How old are you? I just got in the car. Okay. You ever been arrested before for anything? Never, man. Okay. Never before? Mm -hmm. And this is your vehicle? Yeah. Okay. First name. There's nothing illegal in it or nothing like that? Yeah. We're having a lot of problems with drugs in the area. Yeah. There's nothing illegal in your car? Mm -hmm. So after I do a check, you won't mind if I checked your vehicle or anything like that? Uh, I gotta be, be getting some of my mind got time for this. Okay, just hang out for a minute. Right. Let me just make sure everything pans out. Right. He doesn't want us in the car. He Did he just throw the keys out the window or something? Here. Didn't you say he was arrested? Yeah. Uh, for what? Three months ago for drugs. He's saying he'd never been arrested before. Yeah, I got it right here. He was arrested in 72107, drugs. OK. Well, I smell an odor of marijuana coming from the car, so we're going to pull him out. The front seat passenger seems very nervous. Yeah, they both are. He's, He's not happy he got pulled over on a dead end street either, so. He was stuttering a lot telling me his name. I mean, I know my name, and I can say it without stuttering. All right. You have anything on you, no weapons or anything like that? Nothing, man. OK. You said you weren't arrested before. I was never just arrested. Just check the record. It says you were arrested about three months ago. No. For uh, drugs. No, 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 no. Is that a mistake? They pulled me over. Uh -huh. They found something. There was whatever. They let me go for the night. I went to my class, and I got my. I went to court. They gave me my class and scheduled my classes the 20th. Of so you got arrested because they gave you a notice to appear in court. Well, I didn't that know means that you got arrested. arrested. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's a notice to appear. Can you just lean up over there? Sure. Next to your friend. We you smell an odor of marijuana coming from inside the car. So I guess it's probably cause a surge, and he has a past of uh, drug arrest. So we're just going to do a quick search. Nothing comes up. He'll be on his way. But you know, when I asked him for consent, even though I didn't need it, he was really nervous about letting us in the car. Who's this? Stoke, secure the passenger for a minute. There we go. There's a marijuana right here, another pipe that matches the same pipe that was on the ground. So underneath the seat, inside this little orange packet right here, it's definitely going to be felony weight. So that stuff that we found isn't yours on the ground, and you won't allow us to do DNA or anything? So we can Not prove without that me nice. contacting my dad, no. How old are you? 28. You know, once you turn 18, your parents aren't in charge of you anymore, and you're 28 years old. But he's my counselor and he advises me on stuff, so I'd have to contact him first. How many times have you been arrested for uh, drug possession? Three. Three when was Very the last one? All three. Months, months ago. Months and months ago? Yeah. Okay, remember, did my partner tell you that I smell marijuana coming from the car? Okay, you're telling me there's no drugs in the car right now? Not that I know of, no. Not that you know of? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what I found in the car underneath your seat. Oh, my God. Which is funny, because that pipe right there, that, that this little uh, marijuana pipe, is mm -hmm. the same exact marijuana pipe that was outside on the floor. They're, like, matching. That's not mine. It's under your seat. It's I, every, it belongs it's to everybody in the mine. car. It belongs it's to everybody in the car, is what I'm telling you. OK. Like, I'm not going to argue with you. No, no, I'm not trying to argue with you. There. You know, I'm not looking for an admission I'll, here. I don't I'm just trying to, to say. Trouble. I'll take the blame for it all. OK, but two seconds ago, you just told me you didn't know anything about it. I, well, I'm, I'm taking the blame now. But it's not taking the blame. If you don't know about it, you don't know about it. You both go to jail and you figure it out in front of a judge. You're saying you never saw that bag before. You don't know the, the weed was there. You haven't smoked in four or three months. I'll take the blame for it. That doesn't, that's not admission. That's you just saying, I'm copping out, I'll take it. If you know it, you know it. It's mine, I'll say it's mine. OK, where'd you buy it from? I got it free. You got it for free? My brother gave it to me. Your brother sells? No. So why is it rolled up like that? I don't know. So who dropped the black sock outside the door? That's right, you dropped that too? You know, as we were pulling you over, you drew it out the door or something? No, it fell out when I walked out. All right, we know that Rhiannon's going for a felony possession of marijuana and two counts of paraphernalia. Your buddy admitted it was his. You got to start picking better company, especially if you're trying to do the right thing. All right, just try to do better. All right, man. Sheriff's sure, down, 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 down. Yeah, yeah, get on the go. Son of law is the one that dealt the pills to the undercover. At least the traffic in mouth.
currently second in the nation in pill-related deaths. So what we're trying to do now is target these pain management clinics and see if we can um, put a stop to the selling and distribution of pills. Okay, guys, we are set up to do the deal on the southwest side of the parking lot. Once the deal goes down, they're going to give a bus signal. Leg straight. On three. One, two, three. Not like this. Relax. There you go. Just like this. You're all right. All right. All right Exit on the curb. Have a seat. Herbert, you got anything on you, Neil Buck? No, not nothing. Go have a seat. Listen, I'm a detective with the sheriff's office, OK? All right, I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? What's the deal? What's going on today? Oh, he just told me to come over here. And... He just told you to come over here? You had no idea why you were coming over here? Not really. He explained to you about handing somebody the pills or something, or then why'd you get in the car and instantly hand me the pills? I don't know. You don't know? Adam, how many did we deliver? At least the trafficking amount. I it's supposed to be 120. I haven't counted them. Supposed to be 120? Yeah. When uh, when he got in the car, I asked him. I said, "Are you the person that's supposed to be selling me the pills?" And he no. said, "Yeah." He then removed this pill bottle from his pocket, and I asked him, I said, are they all there? He said, yeah, all 120 of them are there. Okay. He then gave me the, the pills and said, yeah, I'm straight, they're good, they're all there. So this, he was unknown to you prior he, he was, he to was, this deal? Yes, he was unknown to me. Oh. It was supposed to be the other individual. It was supposed to be the one to, um, that was dry, that was uh, the pills to me. Yeah. This guy just came out of nowhere. Got in. He was with the guy, but I'd never met him, never talked to him. It was never discussed during the deal. But you had, made, else. you had made the negotiations with the other one? We made the negotiations with the other individual. So we got two for the price of one? Yes, sir. All right, good job. Listen to me, okay? I'm the one that you sold pills to last time, okay? I don't know you. Okay. Well, I do. I know you, okay? And I need to know if you want to be cooperative, okay? Because each charge is a minimum mandatory sentence of three years in prison, okay? So that's a total of six years in prison that you're looking at right now, okay? The only way to get out of that is to talk. But it depends on how you guys want to handle this. It depends on how I handle it. You want to talk? Hey, Jeff, let me tell you something. We all make mistakes, OK? It's not the end of the life, all right? She um, did a stupid mistake. Yeah. What happened today? What did you do? You know, we're doing Sean. I guess he knew this guy named Sean or something. OK. And that's not what he told me to do. What did he tell you to do? We know where we take them things over here. What did you take over there? I'm not for sure. I don't even know what Some pills? Were. Thanks, so. Yeah. OK. Well, you know you're going to have to go to jail for this, OK? OK. All right, have a seat. The older gentleman brought the other guy over with him. That happens to be his uh, son-in-law, and his son-in-law son is the one that that uh, dealt the pills to the the undercover detective. Just found this in his vehicle. It's the receipt. So he just got all these scripts filled prior to coming up here. So he sold you an entire prescription. Yeah, he got um, the prescription of oxycodone, which he saw that the whole prescription he made mention over the phone about the uh, Xanax, which is this here. He's got a full script of Xanax. Okay. And he's got another script here that we didn't even talk about. Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're going to talk. This is what we've been working on with this pill task force, targeting these people that go and get their prescriptions, and then they go and they immediately sell them afterwards. And today it just happened that they sold to uh, an undercover narcotics detective. OK, why are you walking away from us like that? He run over there in between the houses and I guess dropped his load. It's like a mess. I saw you jump that fence the other night when I was on a call over here. There's two police cars in the area, and there's a man over here that's uh, acting really suspicious. He's, he was on a parking lot walking toward a police car, and now he's walking away very quickly, and he's looking over his shoulder. In this neighborhood, that's really be his behavior doesn't add up at all, so we're going to see what's going on with this guy, and 
why he doesn't want to see the police and if he belongs around here. Come here, sir. Put your, take your hand out of your shirt. What's your deal? What's your name? OK, why are you running from us or walking away from us like that? You saw us coming. You went around back, and then you were moving this way. Look right out here and see what my buddy is coming down Do me a favor and walk with me, OK? He saw you guys coming, and he went fast to the, to the west. And then this guy's pointing frantically at him, and he was out here in front, so he circled all the way back around. He might have dumped something. Do me a favor, have a seat, please. Do you have your ID? Uh, no, it's at my house. What were you doing over here on this property? I was over, jumped, I was over on the other side of the fence in front of mine. He said, oh, me over here. wait a minute. I saw you jump that fence the other night when I was on a call over here, and I wondered why you were jumping the fence. Hi. Howdy. Do you know this man? No, I don't. OK. Fifth, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Don't stand up. Do you throw it? Yep. Larry? Yes, sir. Now is the time not to play games. Do you understand? The officers recovered some things that came out of your pocket. Didn't come out of my pocket. All right, when we fingerprint those things, is there any reason that your fingerprints would show up on those items? It's fingerprints on them, then. No, I'm asking you a question. Is there any reason that you can explain that your fingerprints would be on them? No? Mm -mm. OK. What is this? It's like meth. I guess. You get digital scales here as well. Where'd you find this? This is over there between the two houses where that guy saw him go and tried to dig in his pockets and empty his pockets out. I'll, I'll watch him. And if you want to just park over here, we'll load him up. Yeah, Are you uh, smoking it or shooting it? Shoot it. Where at? Wherever it can. Do you need help with your problem? Probably do. What kind of time are you facing? 30. 30 years? Mm -hmm. OK, Larry, stand up for me. Nothing else on you? Nope. This fella come over the back fence here. He's riffling in his pockets. He run over there in between the houses and I guess dropped his load. And about that time was when you guys come around the corner there, and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's over there. And then another officer caught him out there on the uh, sidewalk, I guess, in front of the other house. And that's when you guys brought him over here, put him on the sidewalk. OK. When he was over here, was he just beyond those plants? No, he ran in between the two buildings there. OK. Well, I really appreciate your help. I mean, people like you help us get people like that off the street, so appreciate well, it a lot. Well, I used to be one of them, but I finally quit. <laughs> Good for you. Well, Good man. for you. Proud of you. Thank you, officer. Take care. You have a great day. You too. So, Larry, you say you've only been dirty a few days and you were clean for three? Three, yeah. How long did you use before you got busted? Back three, you know, when you... Did you go to prison? How long did you do in prison? Uh, four and a half, I think, I'm Four and a half years, and you were paroled. How long were you paroled? Three years ago. Yeah, about two and a half, almost three. Two and a half or three, and you, just in the last week or so, you got dirty again. Yeah. And you're facing thirty years. Yeah. You have? Are you a persistent? Four twenty-four. How old are you? Thirty-seven. When did when did you start using? Age of eight. Eight years old. Yeah. What were you using at age eight? I got my first shot of dope when I was eight years old. You shot methamphetamine when you were eight years old? Yeah. Who gave you meth when you were eight years old? Saying most of it's cut? Yeah. Is there a little bit of crank in there? Yeah. Why'd you have the scales with you? I don't know. No? When you have scales and you have that much cut, I mean, you know what I'm going to charge you with, don't you? No. Possession with intent. You know, you can't carry scales around that much cut and not get a possession with intent case. That's just the way it is. Good luck. Did four or five years in prison. He's going back to prison, more than likely. Where did the crack come from? It wasn't on me. It wasn't come even on. found around me. It ain't mine. <laughs> it is now. It was in your seat. You're pretty high right now. No, not at all. Approaching Franklin now. The passenger should have crack in his left front pocket. You want to take him down? 10-23. Drug unit following a car down here. Uh, Come on, mate. Put hands up! Put them up! Put the car 
airport. It is. Get out of the car. One car. Take the car. Take that off. Get out. Get out of the car. On the ground. Get on the ground. Get on Stay the ground. There. On your back. You got him, I got her. All right. What's this all about? Drug investigation. Sit up on your butt. Okay, stand up. Can you grab my back? Left front pocket. Watch yourself. Yeah. You got a warrant thrust too? I'd like just a fine. Uh, no, it's, I've got a court date going. I'm supposed to go to court. There, there it is. Cool. Under arrest for felony drug abuse. Me? Under clock. Yeah. For what? Under clock. Felony drug abuse. Uh, so, here you go. I don't. <laughs> Hey, Harry. And I have my shirt. You know, the red one in the back, now my shirt. You're, you're kind of jammed up right now, aren't you? No, you're pretty high right now. No, not at all. I okay. drank a few beers when I got off work. Who's that with you? Kim. I've been dating her for a while. Is it her dope, then? As far as I know, she quit a while ago. Well, it's yours, then, right? No, I ain't a bit that I know. Because it ain't mine. <laughs> yeah, it is now. It's in your seat. It's well, yours. I don't know all about that. I don't know. What if two undercover yeah. officers saw you uh, purchase that dope? What would you have to say? That's, no. I didn't purchase anything. <laughs> I have no money. I got $3. I was getting a beer. <laughs> all right. Until tomorrow when I get paid. I, yeah, I had to put him in one. Can I have my ones. shirt out of the, it's the red one, the maroon one? Yeah, we'll get your shirt in a minute, man. Can I have now? You got it. You want to tell us the truth of what's going on I'm here? I'm telling the truth. Is that, is that your car? No, it's not. Okay. It belongs to the girl I'm staying with. Okay, well, you tell the truth or the car is getting towed. Okay. <laughs> I am telling the truth. I told him the truth. I have no reason to lie about it. I can give you and you can call him back up every single thing I'm telling you. You guys just, you think we just picked you out of nowhere to stop you? No, I didn't say that. Where did the crack come from? I didn't know that's what he had on him until now I do. Okay. Well, you knew he had it though, right? Had something. I didn't know what he was doing. I swear to God to you, I did not know what he was doing. He said he just needed to stop by there and talk to that guy for a minute. If that's your story. I don't believe you, but... I guess you're going to stick to it, right? If I knew what he was getting, his ass would have stayed there. Kim, this is the crack he had with him, OK? Since you don't want to help us out here, you're going to go with complicity to the felony drug possession, OK? So go ahead and stand up. It wasn't on me. It wasn't even found around me. Well, it's your, you're in the car. You're the driver. You, the you own it. Like, how am I supposed to help myself? Lie? No, it tells what you saw. I didn't see anything. I wasn't even looking at him. <laughs> Have a seat. Did you find anything else? No, I'm just going to finish up inventory. And okay. Uh, Russ is coming to tell it. Okay. Well, we're going to go over to the drug team, uh, check the tape. They have them on tape, so we know they're lying, okay. and see what they get. Right, I'll finish up here. Thanks. Okay. You guys got this all on tape? Yeah. Go ahead and roll it there, Allison. Rolling. We were, uh, actually, she made a buy in Surrey Square. They just bought $100 worth of crack cocaine, her and the informant of the white car. As soon as we finish the buy, he pulls around right by this guy. He goes to the driver's side, and you can see they're talking a little bit. And then uh, here you're going to see an exchange. He inspects the dope, which doesn't happen Right there. Yeah, right there. He looks, makes sure it's dope. 30 second crack deal. And Lieutenant Boone actually watched him, you know, was able to tell us it was in his right front pocket. I had no idea that this person was a guy. Or perhaps I had too many drinks and I don't know the difference. Okay, all right, fair enough. I saw an individual who was kind of lurking in the shadows in an area that's known for uh, high prostitution. So we'll see what her story is and what she's doing hanging out here in the area. Looks like she's going to try to get in the car with this guy here. So I can put the spotlight on him. Go through number 43, cut 468. Hi, I saw you on the other side there. And it looked like 
Oh, it looked like you're kind of trying to avoid me, and you cut back through the other side. So you guys are together? You guys are together? Well, I was just driving her home. Is okay. That, is that against the law? No, it's not against the law. OK, I didn't think so. Vaughn, I have no idea where you're coming from. I was on the other side. I saw you. I went through this side. You turned around and kind of slipped back through this side. I just wanted to see what you're, you know, what you're all about. You understand this area and what it's all about over here, correct? I actually waited a couple of minutes. I was waiting on him. I did not get away just because he drove by. OK. Well, how do I know that? Did it look pretty bad from my point of view? Probably, right? OK. Have you ever been cited or arrested before in your life? Yeah. For what, ma'am? Um, the last time for, um, soliciting me was about in December, I'm being honest with you. OK. Before that, um, So you were arrested for soliciting prostitution? Only once. And before that, it was domestic violence because, you know, with an important. OK. And those are yeah. the, the only two times you've been arrested for? OK. Do you happen to have anything illegal on your person at all? In your purse, anything like that? You mind if I take a look? OK. First of all, just go ahead and put this right up here. Take that off. Anything on your person that we need to be concerned about? Oh, oh, oh. Right, right over here. Put your water up here for me. If you don't mind, I'd like to pat you down for weapons. After that, I'm going to look in your purse, make certain that you don't, don't touch yourself. Just right here like this. All right, step over here, spread your feet apart, please. OK. Inside your bag, is this your ID in here? No, I need my number. My OK, do you don't have any ID in here? OK, is, is there anything in here that I need to be worried about? Anything that's going to stick me, poke me, hurt me? No. OK. What's all this stuff inside here, ma'am? There's a what? There's a crystal meth pipe in there? OK. That's kind of what it looked like for based on the packaging. And that is yours, of course, right? And that is yours, of course, right? OK. What I may have you do here is just put your hands behind your back. Give me the handcuffs here for, for, for a moment, OK? Before I pulled up here, is there anything on the ground that you dumped? Is there anything else inside that purse that you gave me permission to look in, with the exception of that pipe that I need to be worried about? Do you have a little bit of meth in there at all? Are you sure? Not in a baggie, anything like that? Nope. OK. I'm going to go ahead and finish looking through here real quick. Everything I should be just make up. OK. So now you have a little bit understa better understanding as to why I'm stopping folks out here, OK? Because there's a lot of drug activity that goes on. All right, people that use drugs have to buy drugs, okay? And where they buy them, a lot of times is over here. Put your smoke away, sir. What was, what's your relationship with that person? Well, basically, there's no relationship at all, sir. Okay. Um, I was in the bar, had a couple of drinks. I come here often. Uh -huh. You know, I come here because the drinks are cheap. Right, I understand. Um, when I came out, I had no idea that you guys were gonna stop us. Okay. Now, this person came up to me, we were talking, they asked for a ride, I said, no problem. Okay, all How right. far are you going? because I have a ways to drive. Sure. And... Well, you look like you just got off work, so... Actually, I did, and yeah. I'm very tired. <laughs> I believe it. So, pretty much, you know, like I said, it, it's, it's more of a thing where trying to be a nice guy, sometimes you get caught up in, in crap. I've you seen know. it a thousand times. I know what you're talking about. But I had no idea that this person, for one, was a guy. Okay. You know, or perhaps I had too many drinks and I don't know the difference. Okay, all right, fair enough. Also, I had no idea that this person had anything illegal on their person. Okay. Otherwise, you know, if I had cuffs, I would have actually put them under arrest myself. Hey, I hear what you're saying. So you're just basically just going to get on your way out of here and go home? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. As you well know, this is an area of high, high narcotics and prostitution, yes. right? And today we found out that you happen to have a warrant for soliciting for prostitution. Yeah. And you all... the only time I've been arrested for that also. Okay, that's fine. And uh, you also happen to have the methamphetamine pipe that was on your right. person. It's got the residue all over it. Right. Are you trying to get off the drugs? You know what? I'll be completely, completely honest with you. Um, in all honesty, I don't think I'm ready to give it up. And also, 95% of the people that I know or hang out with yes. are in it as well. So it would have to be, be such a drastic change for me, you know, like break off ties with friendships, at least long enough, you know, while I'm trying to stay clean. Right, right, so right. For now, I don't think it's a possible thing. OK, well, I mean, I'm just trying to encourage you to do that. The transport unit should be here shortly. We're going to an area where there's a lot of drug activity and gang activity and violence. There's a guy in a truck right there. We're going to go and see what he's doing. Shouldn't be anybody in any vehicles here. Go ahead and check him out find what he's doing here. Don't, don't open the door. Okay. Close the door right now. Roll the window down. I just got that driver's license. Okay, well, I'll keep your, license. put your hands on the steering wheel. Okay. You don't jump out of a car anytime. Yes, sir. Put yeah. your right hand on the steering wheel. 
Give me your license. Yes, sir. What are you yes, doing sir. sitting out here, sir? I'm looking for, I was going to talk to a guy about doing some uh, work, for, uh, uh, cement work for my grandma's uh, driveway. You got anything? That's, that's the bottom line, yeah. You got anything illegal in the truck? Uh, no, sir. Keep your hands on the steering yes, wheel. Yes, sir. You ever been arrested before? Uh, a long time ago on a DUI, but anything I don't else? drink. I, I, I'm, I'm, I have no, uh, I have no gun, I have nothing. My okay. record's fine. You're talking an awful lot, sir. Oh, oh you well, sure I'm scared. Good? So you're here to talk to somebody about what? Uh, a cement work. Jose, well, he's not here, though. You think that's normal at 2 o'clock in the morning to meet uh, yeah, somebody to talk about work? Yeah, because that's the only time I can get a hold of him. He works graveyard, so, you know, and his day's off, so that's the time that he's up and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no drugs in the truck? No, sir. Uh-uh. There's nothing. I don't do drugs. Do me a favor. Come on out of the car. Keep your hands out of your pockets, all right? Come back to the police car. Put the bottle down. Yes, sir. Stand right in front of my car right yes, there. Yes, sir. You got anything illegal on you? No, no. Turn and face the car? Yes, sir. Nothing illegal on you? No. You mind if I check? Yes, sir. Go ahead. You can check. You mean me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not yeah, going to check. check anybody else here. Yeah, check. OK, you're extremely nervous, all right? Uh, well, I'm scared. I haven't been pulled over like this before. You're not pulled over, sir. You're simply sitting in a parking lot. OK. There's a, nothing but high crime in this area, OK? I'll okay. be straight honest with you. I... It seems really weird to me, saying it's the only time you can get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. Why can't you get them to hold them some other time of the day, like a normal time. hour? Like a normal hour. What's a normal, you know, normal hour, like daytime? Mm -hmm. Why can't you get a hold of them at a normal hour? He works graveyard. Huh? He works graveyard. Do you have inserts? Or... No, I just got caught now through the press zone really bad. That's all. <laughs> yeah. You don't have anything up high no, up huh? there? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. You lift your lip up like this? Uh -huh. I swear you got something up there, man. You're making all these movements with your mouth. Nothing, huh? No. Are you lying? No. I, I just told you. I just told you. I have nothing. I have nothing to hide, Joe. Move your fingers out of the way. Uh, nice try, man. Turn and face the car. Turn and face the car. Nice try. Don't move. You understand? I'm going to hurt you if you don't. If you try resisting me. Swallow. He's got it in his mouth. Open your mouth. Please do not resist, sir. Open your mouth. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back. Did someone go to Taser if they have to. He's, we got him. Stop. You are going to get tased, sir. Sir, you're going to get tased right now. <laughs> Go to the... Okay. Kill, kill, kill. You stop resisting Spit right now. Out. Stop Spit resisting. It Spit it out. Spit it out. Got him. Oh, okay. Out. Okay. Okay. Does stop. that hurt? You better stop it. Stop resisting now. Stop. Stop resisting. I can't breathe. I can't stop. breathe. Stop resisting, sir. It's only going to get worse if you do not stop. I can't breathe. I'm going to taser. Go to taser. Oh You're going to get tased right now. Okay. You make one okay. false move, I will tase you. Yep. You, you understand. OK. OK, you're okay. under arrest for destruction of evidence, too, just so you know. Oh, Is he in custody? No. Yes, he's under please, arrest. Please, please. You need to stop. I will okay. tase you. Stop resisting, sir. OK. It's right here. Got it. Calm down. Oh, I got to calm, calm my down. dad. I, when am I going to You need to calm down. Okay? Do you have anything else in your mouth? No, I don't know. What? Yeah. I don't know. What'd you just spit? Nothing. I don't know. You spit again? He just no, spit over I, here. I don't know what to say. Sir, calm down. Okay? You got me shaking. Open your mouth. Okay, I see it. Spit it out of my car. You got a crock cocaine, you're just going to kill you if you swallow it. You need to spit it out. Okay, I got it right there. I, 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 Sir, what, that's... Am listen, I going to die? Listen, how much did you buy? Uh, 30. 30 rocks? Uh -huh. We going to find more drugs in the car? Did you throw some no, down? No. Because you're reaching around. Yeah, Remember when I walked up to the car, you opened the door and tried to distract me? I put it in my mouth behind a barrel there. That's yeah. all. I'm just testing this. Shit. I'm I see the last four yeah, when we get it. I'm telling we'll you. start the, the paperwork on him. I'm not going nowhere. We're testing this uh, suspected cocaine and see if it turned blue and it's turned blue. When I first stopped you, you said you're down here picking up somebody from cement, and you and I both know that's not true, okay? Yeah. Listen to me. Yes, you find sir. out you got yes. something in your mouth, okay? And then to find out later you got a drug problem, okay? You tell the truth and then you don't need to fight with the police. You okay. understand that? Yes, sir. Fighting with the police is a bad thing. Yeah, it okay? Is. Hopefully you learn something from this tonight. Yes, and I hopefully did. you stop taking drugs, all right? Stop. Stop. Why'd you drive around me like that? Get out of my face! Let me go! You wanna act like this, you're gonna get treated like this. I got called by an off-duty officer. He's telling me there's a couple of guys smoking marijuana in a blue car up here by the park. 57 Go ahead. Stop. Stop.
Last end, stand by. Last end, be out with 737. We're at 29 at Tyler. Go ahead and start me another unit. What's your problem, buddy? Why'd you drive around me like that? It doesn't matter if I have my lights on or not, man. A car, a cop car pulls right up in front of you, and then I point at you and yell at you, stop. Let me see some ID. Y'all got any marijuana in the car? Because I smell it. No. One step out of the car. Do you have any weapons on you or anything? Do not, do not. Turn around. Put chance behind your back. Step right around here and have a seat. And step out. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. The reason y'all are getting put in cuss is because he tried to drive off from me and because it's just me right now. And there's three of y'all, okay? Step back, step right over here and have a seat. Have a seat. And step out, step right back over here. Kristen, chill, please. Have a seat on the curb right there. It's fine, you need to calm down. I'll tell you. Uh, okay, I was gonna, five, go I'll ahead, go five, ahead. Five dollars, like a little blunt, five dollars, and we were smoking, I'll tell you that. Okay, that's it. who was smoking it, you, everybody? No, just me and him over there. Just you and him, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's Did you already smoke it all, is there any more in the car? Well, there's a little bit. There's a little bit more in the car? There's, yes, there's okay. Little, okay, I thank you for your honesty, okay? The driver's sitting in the middle. He admitted that they'd been smoking some weed. The girl's only 15, so we're gonna have to go over and get her mom. She said they don't have a phone at the house. What'd y'all do with that marijuana? Well, we were smoking it and then got stopped, so. Did y'all throw it out or what'd y'all do with it? No, no sir, no sir. Where's no, it at? It was uh, in the cup. Did you check the cup on the dash, the marijuana's yeah, in the cup? Yeah, they dropped it in. It's down in there. What was it, a joint? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> a new young lady. You're 15, you ought to know better. I didn't do anything. Please, I'm OK. Whatever. Look, you're about to get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Let me Quit. go. Sit down. You want to act like this, you're going to get treated like this. Do you understand? Turn around and have a seat. She needs a misdemeanor sight. It'll be for possession of uh, tobacco. Okay. She's 15. You influenced her by smoking dope around a 15-year-old girl, which is endangering a child, which could be construed as a felony offense. Do you have anything in your pockets you're not supposed to have? Stand up for me. He was. He was? Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. His driver's license is no good. OK. Let's stick him in jail on traffic. OK, well. What do you driver's license? Well, no good. How? I don't know. Is your driver's license? You yes, sir, it is good. I got it at Boys no, last not. year. No, DPS yeah. just told me it's not good. You're going to give her a misdemeanor site for possession? Tonight, yeah, though. and then we'll release her to mom. Here's mom. The driver and the passenger are going to be going to jail for uh, possession of paraphernalia. The driver also for the uh, for his driver's license being suspended. Oh. As far as your daughter goes, she's getting a citation today for minor possession of tobacco. She had made the statement that prior to leaving your house, you told her don't be out doing drugs and don't be doing nothing stupid to get in trouble with the cops. And exactly. Apparently, she took y'all for granted. Yeah. 